Hello guys and welcome back to another video of Architects 3DP. This is the 12th episode of the Build the Best DIY 3D Printer series. In the last episode, we attached the extruder built in the previous episode to the rest of the 3D printer. In today's video, we are going to add one more component to the assembly, and it's going to be the LCD screen with the dial, getting at the end of the video this nice result. Now I'm going to show you the components that we'll need to build this part of the printer. But before starting, be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. Alright, so the first part that we'll need to start with the build of this episode are the next. First, the 3D printer assembly that we got at the end of the episode 11. The LCD screen board, the LCD support A, the LCD support B, the LCD cover original and the LCD knob. Alright, so the first step we'll need to do is to pick up our LCD board and install on it the 3D printed LCD supports A and B. They must be aligned in this exact same position. Then we'll grab the LCD cover original from the original Prusa i3 MK2S and we'll insert the LCD panel in place like so. You have to press it down until you hear a click. Once we got it, we'll insert an M3 screw in one of the corners next to the LCD knob to secure it in place and make sure you don't disassemble the LCD when you want to press the button. Alright, so finally, we just have to insert the 3D printed LCD knob right here like so. And we are ready to install it into the 3D printer. It will be installed here in this position, right in front of the 3D printer, and the 3D printed supports will attach to the M8 threaded rods of the structure of the Y axis. To fit it in place, you can insert the bottom clip to the threaded rod, and then rotate the whole assembly to insert the top one. But before, we need to make an extra step, that will be to insert the zip ties that will keep the LCD assembly in place. So we'll take it out, and we're going to prepare two zip ties, that we will insert from the bottom like so and they will come out from the top. Then we'll repeat the movement we did before to fit it in place. Make sure it clicks. And now we just have to close the zip ties tightly using a pair of pliers. Finally, just cut the waste part using a blade or a scissors. Next we are going to rotate the 3D printer in this position, and we are going to connect the LCD with the two flat grey cables that came with it. You should insert the cables once connected through the two MA threaded rods as you can see on screen. Then we'll grab the 3D printed cable clips we also printed for this episode and we are going to attach the cables to the M10 threaded rods of the Y axis like so, running them from the front part of the 3D printer right till the back of the frame, where we'll connect them to the motherboard. So once we finish running the cables to the back, we will rotate the whole 3D printer and we can say that we have already installed the LCD screen. After 10 episodes, we are almost done with the build of the 3D printer, and I hope you are enjoying with the process. Finally, I'm going to make as always a recap of all the components we use for this build. First, for pre-assembled hardware, we'll need the X, Y, Z and extruder assembly. Then for the 3D printed components, the LCD support A, the LCD support B, the LCD cover original and the LCD knob, as well as 7 cable holders. For regular hardware, we'll use a 12mm M3 screw to hold the LCD board and two zip ties. Finally, for special hardware, we'll need the LCD board with the knob and the two LCD cables. Ok guys, so that has been everything for this short video. Remember that down below in the description of the video, you will find all the links to download the modified STL files that we needed for this video, as well as the links to buy all the necessary components from Amazon through our affiliate links. If you still don't have a 3D printer to print all the 3D printer parts yourself, 
You can contact me by email at architects3dp at gmail.com and I will try to find you a solution. In the next video, we will prepare and assemble the power supply that will power all the components of the 3D printer. So be sure to subscribe and to ring that bell to be notified when cool stuff is uploaded. Hit the like button if you liked the video, leave a comment and share this episode so more people will be able to learn with the project. Finally, I just wanted to give a special thanks to all of you, and especially to our Patreon supporters for continuing to make this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, getting nice rewards and making me super happy, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects through the beat or clicking here in the top right corner. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.